Hey everyone, Sean Frangella here for MotionTutorials.net with a new After Effects quick tip tutorial about how you can use expressions to connect the parameters of different effects in After Effects. This episode is brought to you by Artbeats Express. Create a free account at Artbeats Express Stock Media by subscription and receive complimentary broadcast quality resolution content files. No credit card payments or obligations are required. Click the link for more details. So here we have this quick little animation with different text objects animating into the frame from different directions. And if we take a look at our keyframes by pressing U on the three text objects and take a look at our effects controls, only this first text object has this glow effect on it, but they're all glowing. And if we grab those three text layers and press E twice, we can see there's a bunch of expressions connecting them and doing some different things. And the benefit of this is that you can have one set of keyframes or no keyframes if you get a little fancy with expressions to link them together, as well as use some quick math to adjust the parameters in different ways. You can see as I adjust this one set of keyframes, they all are impacted. And that center word graphics has a little bit of a different glow on it, but it all lines up with the timing. So what I'm gonna do is just delete all the expressions and keyframes on this real quick. And I'll just delete the glow effect from all of these layers. So we can start from scratch and take a look at what we're talking about. So here we got just this text animation with a little bit of camera movement. And the point of this is that we can put an effect on one layer. So I'll just get a glow and I'll drag that onto this word motion. We could increase maybe the radius. And if we wanted to animate this in some way, maybe as the words come into frame, it animates from five. So we'll just make a keyframe for five. Take a look at those, go ahead, 10 frames, and then we'll put it at like 50 so you can really see the difference and then just slowly have it ease out back to five. And maybe even put a quick easy ease on those. Now as those come into frame, we have some nice animation and we could just copy this effect with the keyframes and paste and paste but then we have three sets of keyframes. They don't line up. We'd have to adjust things. And then if we make a change, we need to remember to do it three times. So let's undo that. And rather than that method, I'm going to drop a new glow effect on both of these layers. And then for either of them, I'm going to alt click on this glow radius to open up expressions. And rather than adding keyframes, I can actually take this expression pick whip and since I have my glow radius keyframes open on this other text layer motion, I can just drag this pick whip to the parameter, not the effect, but the parameter that says glow radius. And it's going to write out an expression that directs that parameter to match that one. And I could actually just copy that text and then go down to the third text layer, alt click on glow radius again, command V or edit paste. And now those all line up and there are three different text layers. And what's useful about this, like I mentioned earlier, is we can just drag these keyframes and it's gonna impact all of them. Now that's pretty basic. Let's get a little fancy and talk about some more complex things we can do. So what we could do is have these animate at the same time, but at the end of this expression, we could use arithmetic being add, subtract, multiply, divide. So if we do times four and click enter on the number pad or click off. It's gonna have the same keyframes, but it's gonna multiply the original value times four. So while this one gets up to 50, this one gets up to 200. And same idea on this word time, we could do divided by two, press enter. So this one actually only gets half. So you can see what that's doing, all the timing matches up and we're getting a slightly different animation. And all this is doing is looking at the number and matching the numbers. It doesn't actually matter what this is doing, being at glow radius or intensity. So we could actually do it on other parameters. Maybe we wanted glow intensity to be linked to that too. So we could alt click, drag the pick wick up to glow radius. And it's using that same parameter and creating some nice animations. So you can link together different properties of different effects and anything that's basically a numerical value and it's just gonna match that. So then we got just these keyframes. We can do some fancy things right there and they're all going together. And again, the nice thing with this is all we'd have to do if we wanna really change this is change one keyframe and look, it's really 
adjusting our entire animation. Some pretty cool stuff with that. Now let's talk about one other little trick you could do. Let's set this back to something like 25. I'm just gonna turn off those keyframes and delete all those fancy expressions we made on each of those. What if we don't want any keyframes? What if we just want this word motion and maybe the glow radius to wiggle with an expression? So we'll alt click and type wiggle, all lowercase, left parenthesis, say two comma 15, and that will twice a second wiggle that value a maximum amount of 15 units from 25. So we can see as it's animating, it's wiggling. Well, we could actually match this glow radius on another effect to that same wiggle and now we have no keyframes and that's wiggling like that and we could even take the word time and do the glow intensity again match it to that and so now they're all wiggling this one's wiggling just the glow intensity and same idea we could use math so if we want one of them to really pop a lot more we want the center word to really explode we can multiply it by four or eight times and we could even copy this expression on this layer and then throw it on glow intensity change the number and really reuse these expressions and now if we just quick play this you can see it there's a lot of little detailed animation going on and we don't even have keyframes we're just doing it all with this wiggle expression and then linking some parameters around and connecting things and this is great because all we need to do if we really want to change this is change this one expression with our wiggle and we can get something totally different that all links up and all feels dynamic so this is a really great way to add extra little animation in detail to your motion graphics maybe you have an animation with some text or some camera movement or graphics and you just want a little bit more going on but you don't want to bog down your time with adding a ton of keyframes you can throw some expressions on it link it together and do some pretty cool stuff and if you want to learn more about getting into expressions as well as some more complex things with more advanced expressions be sure to check out some of the other tutorials i have where i get into expressions expression effects and all sorts of stuff and if you want to learn about this camera animation and tons about camera animation be sure to check out that tutorial where I get pretty far into everything you can do with camera animation and you can learn a lot in that area. And if you want to check out all sorts of After Effects tutorials, be sure to check out the full website at motiontutorials.net where I got tons of After Effects tutorials as well as Cinema 4D and Element 3D tutorials for you to check out. And if you want to hit me up on social media, you can check out the Facebook page at facebook.com slash motiontutorials as well as Twitter, I'm at Sean Frangella. Be sure to subscribe on it youtube if you want to get lots of motion graphics and animation tutorials sent straight to you as always thanks for watching i will see you at the next video and be sure to check out one of those other tutorials to learn a lot more when you're done with this one by clicking on any of those thumbnails